tell you something. I am 41 years old, and probably from the time that I was your age, I'm going to get upset, and I didn't know I was going to do that, my parents have been at everything I did, whether it was basketball, school programs, and so right now, what you're doing is taking the time to come today to support your kids is the most important thing that you can do as a parent. Showing them that you care about their education, that you care about them, and that you love them no matter how old they are. Just please, if you don't take anything else from today, take that away. That even at my age, my parents still run errands for me, <coughs> go get outfits, because I needed great outfits and I couldn't find them. Where I, my mom went and got cookies and juice. So it starts right now at four with this being their first adventure in school up until however old they are. And I'm so thankful that you took the time out of your day that you left work, um, and that you got people feeling for you, and that you came. And so I appreciate you up, y'all. So thank you. What an amazing group. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the first ever Mother Goose on the Loose. I'm Diana Watson. I'm so happy to be here. Can't wait to see the program just like you. This is a production by Mrs. Lemons and Mrs. Connor's class. And a nursery rhyme, it's really a traditional song or a poem. It's often read and taught to young people. So please help us welcome our first act, Jack and Jill. A pail of water. Jack fell down. Some bumps are kind of joke and told me after. <laughs> what a great job! Very good. Jack and Jill. Well, Mother Goose rhymes, they've really been passed down and recited for hundreds, even thousands of years in some cases. Have you ever wondered why we hear these nursery rhymes again and again, even from the time we were kids? Well, because they're fun and kids love them, and they also teach something too, which you might not always think about. And as far as your kids know, it's all about fun. They like the fun part of it, which is what we all know is number one priority in a kid's world. So let's get ready for a little more fun. Please welcome Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty got this. Humpty Dumpty sit on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fun. All the king's horses. And all the kids men. Couldn't fit Humpty back together again. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Humpty back on his feet there. <laughs> That is great. <laughs> okay, well, candle jumping, let's talk about that. It mentioned in Jack Be Nimble, we know that nursery rhyme. It was one of the many traditional superstitions for predicting the future. I never really knew where candle jumping came from in that nursery rhyme. If you jumped a candle and the flame remained, then your future was bright. If it went out, things weren't looking very good. Both of which were better than option number three, which was catching on fire. We don't want that to happen. So the, ry the rhythm and the rhyme between the words and the sounds that repeat in regular intervals encourage kids to remember words, which helps to improve their auditory memory, their music, and their reading skills. So check out these next skills. Please welcome Three Blind Mice. Oh, I'm sorry. Please welcome Jack B. Nimble. Jack B. Nimble. Jack be quick. Jack tripped over the candlestick. Yeah. 
<laughs> that was a good jump. <laughs> okay, now I kind of skipped ahead a little there. The rhythm between words and sounds that repeat in regular inter intervals encourage kids to remember words, and that helps improve auditory memory, music, and reading skills. And so check out these next skills. Here they are, our three blind mice. So good. That's awesome. <laughs> Animated nursery rhymes for kids are funny and they win their attention very quickly. So please join me in welcoming our next act, Baba Black Sheep. You might not realize, but the original last line to Baba Black Sheep was, and none for the little boy who cries down the lane. And likely this was because of the wool tax laws in the 13th century England, where a third of the price of each bag of wool went to the king, which was the master, and two thirds went to the church, the dame, leaving none for the shepherd, the crying little boy. But obviously over the years, that rhyme has changed. All right, everybody. You want to check your clock right now. It is time for Hickory Dickory Dock. <laughs> Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse turned out the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse turned down. Hickory Dickory Dock. amazing how they can all remember these rhymes. They're doing so great. And of course, Mother Goose is the mastermind behind all of this rhyming and the rhyming kind of weirdness that goes on in these rhymes. So who is this winged author, Mother Goose? Well, there are many theories about who she was, including that she was the wife of a 17th century Bostonian named Isaac Goose, and that the pair had 16 children between them. Unfortunately, the truth is the search for the real Mother Goose has resulted in a big Big goose egg. Nobody really knows exactly. So who could refuse helping our next performer? Please welcome Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep had lost her sheep. They didn't know where to find them. Leave them on nose then the milk and milk wagging their tails behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Cry. 
Great job. <laughs> Well, rhymes are fun activities for children, and because they're short, children are able to pay attention and enjoy the experience of learning the rhymes, memorizing them, singing them, and speaking them together. Memorizing rhymes enable a child to understand the rules and patterns of language. When a child recognizes the way people use words and sentences, they're much more able to read. It kind of makes sense. Nursery rhymes also foster creativity because hearing or acting them out puts pictures and ideas along with the words which enables children to use their imagination. After today's performance, we encourage you to continue to do nursery rhymes with your child. This, was, this will allow them to grow and develop a love for learning. So this brings us to our last performance. Sit back and enjoy Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat in the fiddle, the cat jumps over the moon. The little dog out to see the truck and the dead man away was the food. <laughs> Great! And remember, nursery rhymes not merely tell stories, they help children learn the wonderful world of language, simple words that rhyme add a magical touch to these little poems for little ones. And we thank you for being here today. Have a great day. Yay, good job.